Uh, good evening, everyone. We're going to begin our meeting, our traffic council meeting um, for March 14th. Um, we'll just begin with introductions. I'm David Kozis. I'm the transportation coordinator from the Public Works Department. At the beginning of the meeting, I see we're joined by Isaac Prezant, our traffic engineer, Mitch Fishman, our citizen representative, uh, Jeremy Freudberg, our alternate citizen representative, um, Danielle Delaney, the city, uh, or the committee clerk. Um, I see Jeannie Fairley, our ADA coordinator. Did I say Captain Doucette from the police? And Counselor Down um, from Ward 5. That's wrong. <laughs> Is it Ward 5? Now I forgot. It's Ward 5. Ward 5. Okay, good. But I'm also, I, I'm here because I'm vice chair of uh, the Public Safety and Transportation Committee. Yes. Um, so I don't see anyone from the public. Is that because we don't have any or because we're in a webinar format or some sort of different format? We have um, Mr. Corey and I just let in um, Councilor Getz as a panelist. Okay. That's it. That's it. I see. Okay. So does that mean that as the chair, I cannot see who's here from the public. You can click on the attendees oh. under participants. Yeah, and it's just oh, Jesse. I oh, you I see. You see, click on your participants tab. Yes. Okay. I just want to make sure. And you only see Jesse, correct? I did not see Jesse. Hit attendee. Oh, attendees. Okay. All right. This is the first time we've had the webinar format. So just a little getting used to it. Yes. All right. So I need to probably leave this little box up in some corner <laughs> somewhere. Oh, so that and now I just closed it. Okay. So I might need some help looking to see who might sure. be raising their hands because I don't yeah. see the pictures of anybody anymore. Correct. Uh, okay. David, David, I'll help you out with that. All right. Um, okay, so we'll begin with our first item of the evening, which is AP 124. It's Jeannie Farrelly, ADA coordinator, and David Kozis, transportation coordinator, on behalf of Roger Malloy, requesting an accessible parking space at or near 5 Murphy Court. So we'll do the presentation, then we'll um, hear if there's any comments. This item we heard back at our January 18th traffic council meeting, we um, voted to hold it at that point as a trial. Um, so the first couple of slides are from that meeting. So this is the location on Murphy Court in front of number five. Here's a view of Murphy Court looking west and then a view looking to the east. There's a sign. Um, so Adam Street is in the background. So there's a sign facing Adam Street that says no parking here to corner. Um, although we do often, we saw illegal parking, people parking in the no parking zone. Um, we often saw cars parking very close to this driveway, number nine Murphy Court. So there were two recommendations that we made back at that meeting in January. The first one was to move the no parking here to corner sign 10 feet to, closer to Adam Street so that it's 50 feet from Adam Street. And then the second recommendation we made was to add one accessible parking space as shown on this slide. So, um, that was what the traffic council trial was back in January. We created room for one general public parking space and then an accessible parking space. And hopefully that would keep people, from, keep vehicles from parking too close to the driveway at number nine. Um, so that was the trial that was approved. Uh, here's the signage that was posted in this slide. You can see the no parking here at a corner sign was relocated. And then in the background, you see the accessible parking space sign. Um, so 
I've looked at this many times um, driving by or walking by. Um, I've seen that, you know, it seems like it's been working pretty well. I often see a, one vehicle parked in the general public parking space. I often see, not all the time, but maybe half the time that I've been there, I've seen one vehicle parked in the accessible, the new accessible parking space. Um, so I felt like there was no reason to keep holding this. I thought I would put it back on the agenda, notify all the residents of the street and um, see if there was any opposition to making the trial permanent. My recommendation at this point is to go ahead and make the trial permanent and we have the language that we would be able to vote on. Um, so that's the presentation for this item. Is there anyone who would like to make a comment? Okay. I don't, uh, one, well, I can see that one, oh, okay. This it's is me. I have to it's get used Jeannie. to this. Okay. <laughs> So I can only, I can see that Jeannie, ha you have raised your hand. Um, I can't see if any analysts have raised their hands. So Jeannie, <laughs> um, if you could um, unmute and then you feel free to make a comment. I'm not unmuted. Oh, you are I'm unmuted. You I are unmuted. You. I thought I was. Um, okay, thanks. Um, yeah, just a couple of questions. I haven't heard any, um, I think it was working well. Otherwise I think I would hear about it um, because um, both, uh, resident at number nine and the resident at number five um, went, you know, through uh, both of us, all of us uh, for this, the possibly two spaces, but as um, you, you didn't mention tonight, but that no, at number nine, it wasn't really a big enough um, space between two driveways to actually put a, uh, any kind of a parking space. It wasn't 20 feet in clearing the driveways. Um, I just wanted to ask, um, did the, um, sign uh for the accessible space at five is it uh at the head of where the parking space would be and is that space closest to the driveway of nine yes okay yes, it's, so it's all set you know when it was Jeannie when I noticed when it was like the day that it was put in they had mistakenly put it in the wrong space and then actually yeah. I think that very day we noticed it and then they moved it right away so it's oh, in, in the right Super. spot right now so that that's where you know it's working well because I think it's also um, not not too many people, and and it's a specific space and not pulling up uh, too close to that driveway as well, which was also a problem for the person at nine, uh, trying to get in and out of his driveway, and he also has a disability. So um, I think it's uh, um, I agree with you, David. Uh, I haven't heard any negative. Um, from either other neighbors or anybody. So I think it's um, uh, a win-win situation for, for now. Yeah. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Um, is there anyone else who'd like to comment? Okay. I think there are none. There's none from the general public, right? Correct. Okay. So I would like to go ahead and make the motion to make the trial permanent um this would be the language of tpr 929 um as shown on the screen um any comments before we call the roll danielle can you call the roll please mr kosis aye mr present aye councillor downs aye captain Doucette. aye mr fishman aye that's approved five to zero tpr 929 Okay, thanks. So we have a 20 day appeals period. Um, we're not gonna, you know, we're just gonna leave the signage exactly how it is. And then after April 3rd, we'd be able to make the, just the official, we'd be able to update our traffic and parking regulations to reflect this change. Thank you. And we're gonna go on to our next item, which is TC 724, counselors, Bounds, Getz, Humphrey, Bobovitz, Danberg, and Bixby requesting the Traffic Council vote to ask MassDOT to rescind the 35 mile per hour section of the special speed regulation on Woodward Street in both directions. If approved by Traffic Council, the City Clerk's Office would notify MassDOT of the official action taken 
and MassDOT would subsequently issue a modified special speed regulation to reflect these changes. If the existing 35 mile per hour special speed regulations are rescinded in this area, the statutory speed limit of 25 miles an hour would be in effect. Okay, so this would be the second time that Traffic Council would be voting to rescind one of our special speed regulations. Last year, we voted to rescind the um, actually two special speed regulations. One was on Washington Street and one was on Tremont Street in um, Newton Corner. So this now we sort of went through the process one time and where we sort of can know what to expect this time around. Um, so when we look in our traffic and parking regulation re regulations, we see the exact um, wording that was approved by MassDOT many years ago for the special speed regulation, the regulatory speed limit on Woodward Street. So you could see it here on the screen that um, it's, you know, all of Woodward Street between Beacon Street and Route 9, um, that it begins at 25 mile an hour. And then for more than half a mile, the middle of Woodward Street, it, it becomes 35 miles per hour. And then um, at the end, it becomes 25 mile an, miles per hour again. So what we are being asked to do is to ask MassDOT to rescind the middle portion, um, the 35 mile per hour section. And so um, that is our proposed action. It would be to hold this item and then to um, prepare a request to be sent to MassDOT for them to let them know that the city voted to rescind the special speed regulation and we would ask them to rescind it and reissue a, brand, a new special speed regulation 785 um, for Woodward Street that would only show the, 25, the two 25 mile per hour sections in both directions. Um, oops. So we would just need to vote to hold this item right now and then wait to hear back from MassDOT um, then once we hear back from MassDOT, we would put this back on another traffic council agenda. We could vote to NAN it at, the, at that time because we would have the administrative authority to, once we hear back from MassDOT, just to update the TPR and to update the postage signage to basically to remove the 35 mile per hour signs uh, that are posted on that street. So that is the recommendation. Are there any comments or questions, uh, Jeremy? Yeah, thank you, David. Um, well, I, I have two questions and a comment. Um, first question is, I thought with the Tremont and Washington that we actually voted to approve in traffic council first and then MassDOT would act and not, see the, the process seems a little different. Is, is that right for this time? I... I don't, I don't, I'm not sure if the process is any different. This is my understanding. We are, I guess we need to, we, we're not approving it right now. We need to request something. So we can't, I, I don't remember if we approved it or held okay, it yeah. last time. But we, you know, there's nothing that we can approve right now. Where right, we no, need to yeah. have a request go out. Okay, that, that makes sense. Um, I guess in that case, it still probably makes sense to do some kind of, straw poll or, or something of the voting members just to make sure that they're all on board versus just holding it. Um, the other, so the, yeah, um, I guess another question, and we don't need to get too much into this now, is I was curious if we had, if we had any um, any data from Tremont or Washington on what the speeds were after the signs were taken down. I'm, I don't think there are any. Isaac, do you think that the, there's any uh, anything that's been measured? Um, I can't recall. We definitely intended to do it. We wanted to give it a little bit of time. I know it has been a handful of months now, so if we haven't done it, we probably will do it shortly. Um, I would have to get together with Adrian on that and, and see where we're at with that. Okay. I think it, that does. that's a good point that Jeremy made. I, it might be worth it. 
um, sometime while this is being held at the 35 mile an hour sign, I guess, at that point, to do just collect data, what, what the speed is right there. And then if this if the sign's able to be removed in the future, we could sort of, it would be interesting to see if it makes any difference. Yeah. Okay, that sounds good. And Isaac, I'll definitely follow up with you about that. Um, yeah, I guess. Exactly. The, and then the last thing I want to mention, um, slightly off topic, is just um, I think I most people know I'm opposed to the webinar format. Um, luckily for this meeting, I still get to be a panelist. Um, in the future, I won't be. So just wanted to note that objection for everyone here. Thank you. That's it. Thank you. It does it does seem a little bit more difficult for me to run the meeting actually uh, in this format. Uh, Councillor Downs. Uh, yeah. Thank you. I docketed this. Um... And um, with the experience of Tremont and um, Washington in mind, I think that neighborhood is, you know, we, we made a lot of neighbors really happy when we did that. And I would like to do the same for Woodward. It's very close to um, being at that speed already, but having the signs up encourages people to speed up. So I think we should both measure and note that when speeds are well under the speed limit, we should adjust to speed limit. Thank you. Any other comments or any comments from the public? Um, can, can we just do a quick straw poll? Um, Danielle, can you just, uh, uh, well, first let's, let me call on Councillor Guts. Hi, um, you know, I would actually, I um, left a message for you today, Isaac, you know, specifically about um, whether or not it's possible to put, and I don't know the name of the, uh, when you go through the intersection of Beacon and Chestnut, you know, there's that, you get a, a, a it tells you your speed, and then right oh. underneath it is the posted speed, so that then people will understand and interpret that this that the actual uh, speed limit has changed because right now there's an absence of of signage once it gets pulled down, so I don't know if it's a possibility to you know make a request for um, and I think very specifically it would be good to have it going um, it, it's upward word it into the square I don't know what direction that is. Yeah, I mean the the existing ones in the city have all been installed through either a special permit or having been prioritized through our traffic calming evaluation. Um, so I would say, you know, it's something we can consider in the future, um, but but that we wouldn't necessarily be able to do right away. The second thing is um, you, you did um, point something out there in your explanation, which is that um, they're really most effective when there's a change in speed limit. This would be, not quite that application because we what we're hoping to do is keep the um sort of outer sections of of woodward that are regulatory 25 and we'd hope to stay 25 and basically just lose that middle gap that's 35 so it's 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 not really changing speed limit either um so it it may not be quite the best application or and sort of effective one all right. Well, I just think that once those 35s go down, people are going to be, you know, uh, they just yeah. want to be able to interpret, you know, I, what is the appropriate speed to be doing as they yeah. screw that zone. I will say this. Um, what this does do in the future is, you know, a, a huge factor as far as like how we weigh scores in our traffic calming evaluation is you know, how much over the speed limit people are going um, at the 85th percentile of speed. So, you know, if you're taking that delta versus, you know, uh, against 35 versus 25, you know, that's going to be a, something that probably eventually really helps Woodward Street get prioritized much higher and, and get that massive score boost. So, um, you know, that, that could be basically what I'm saying is, I wouldn't be surprised if, if it increases in priority as time goes on. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sure thing. Okay. Are there any other comments? Okay. Now I can sort of put this little box up and see the um, attendees. Um, 
Okay, I don't see anyone raising their hands. So actually, can we just do a quick roll call, Danielle, to uh, ask the uh, traffic council members if they support asking MassDOT um, to remove the 35 mile an hour section? Sure. And then we'll we'll then we'll I'll make a vote to hold after that. Okay, Mr. Kosis. Yes. Isaac, Mr. Prasant? Yes, aye. Councillor Downs? Aye. Captain Doucette? Aye. Mr. Fishman? Aye. Okay, that's five to zero. Okay, and I'll make a motion to hold, please. Okay, uh, to hold, Mr. Kosis? Aye. Mr. Prasant? Aye. Councillor Downs? Aye. Captain Doucette? Aye. And Mr. Fishman? Aye. Okay, that's held five to zero. Okay, good. All right. I'm going to have to close my participants box so I can see the screen. Okay. So our last item is TC824, Isaac Prezant, traffic engineer, requesting to add the Lowell Austin RRFB into the TPR. So for this item, this is the location of Lowell Avenue at Austin Street. We already have the RRFB um, in the field working properly, and we just need to vote to add it into our traffic and parking regulations. So this is the language that we would be voting for, and I would like to make a motion to approve the language of TPR 930 for TC 824. Are there any comments? Okay. I have one. Yes, Councillor Downs. I, I'm a little curious about this. I I support this, of course, but um, and and of course I won't vote to, you know, even if I didn't support it, I would probably not vote to have it taken out after it was put in, knowing that it's yeah would cost money. But it seems that we're approving after installation is a little backward. Mm -hmm. that we should probably approve first and, and then install. And I understand schedules, but it's, we, we, we should be first like going over everything and deciding, yes, this is really important. And we agree with the conclusions of the engineers before we move forward. Okay. Isaac, do you know if we have any more that are in the pipeline mm -hmm. that have not yet been installed that we could add to a traffic council agenda before we install them yeah we we definitely have a list i mean some of them even include ones like on needham street that's not our jurisdiction um but those are in the pipeline so um yeah i don't have that list in front of me but we can we can take a I look i think adrian it. has it and i've seen it um at least for a few seconds while i was up on the screen and I generally support them all and I support the method, but I think we ought to have it before traffic council, even as a group, as a, in principle first. Okay, so we can try and do that moving forward. Um, any other comments? Okay, Danielle, can you please call the roll? Um, <laughs> Mr. Kosis. Aye. Mr. Prezant. Aye. Councilor Downs. Aye. Captain Doucette? Aye. Mr. Fishman? Aye. Okay, that's approved 5 to 0 TPI 930. All right, and that concludes our business. Our next traffic council meeting is scheduled for April 11th. Thank you Great. all. Uh, have a good night. 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 night.